country can do for you or what you've given to all of us. And we are so grateful to you. This is just a, a, a small tribute to, to the heroes that you really are. And we're so grateful to each of you. We've been having a nice little gathering of some uh, disabled veterans from our armed forces. We're having a special hunt for them here, a rabbit hunt with beagles on the new Ben Lilly Conservation Area. Yeah, last night they had a little uh, barbecue. They barbecued chicken for the vet. They had all the trimmings, potato salad and baked beans and all that. And they, they give those guys some, some free goodies that some of the local merchants had uh, contributed to them, some hats and some hunting paraphernalia, you know. And, and uh, the Wildlife Agent Association actually paid for and bought every one of them's license. My name is Wendy, Wendy Chasson, 23 years old, born and raised Louisiana. Uh, Station over here at Fort Polk in WTU. First, I was at Fort Bliss after coming back from overseas, and uh, when we got to Fort Bliss, I heard about the, the deer hunt, and I was upset because I just missed it. The next week, I hear rabbit hunt, and I was like, "Oh, me, me, me!" <laughs> you know, I made sure I was on that that list. Here I am now, just out here, <laughs> crazy, but in the freezing cold, <laughs> trying to hunt for a rabbit. <laughs> By the way, don't get nervous about me switching arms. Cause I'm, I can, I'm a great shot both ways. I'm ambidextrous. Louisiana Hunters for Heroes. Our object is to take and the men and women from the Warrior Transition Units and get them out of the base and try to share a little of the outdoors with them. It's just a a, a link for us to get to know them, see what needs possibly we can help them with and uh, get them back in, into the right stage of their life where they're ready to go forward. And then, too, if they're gonna live in this state, all the communities come out, they get to know everybody. Hey, I'm fixing to move there. Hey, I know, I met that guy. So then they got somebody to fall back on and talk to. There's just one rabbit. His name is Blake, Roy Blake. He deployed overseas with me and it was it was pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I'm very glad I was excited to see him this morning. I didn't see him last night. I'm just like anyone else. In the back of your mind, you always think that you wish you could do more, but you really don't know what to do who to call, where to go, and how to get involved. What we're trying to do here is, is to uh, uplift the veterans, the wounded veterans. Uh, uh, let them know that we care uh, by having these events, uh, these hunting events, and, and uh, like I said, the fellowship and the camaraderie. Let them, let them know that there are people out there that uh, really want uh, them to know that we appreciate what they've done for us, uh, for our country. Hunted all morning, um, didn't do a lot of good, but we scared a bunch of rabbits. <laughs> and uh, for lunch, the community's coming out, Dutch Oven Society's cooking chili, and one guy's cooking jambalaya. Then this evening, we're gonna go hunt. Everybody will come back this evening, and we'll have a fish fry. It's a lot of friendly people. I mean, everywhere I go, I've been greeted, and thanks for my service. Uh, they're they're really good people. I mean, we haven't had to pay for anything out here, and it's 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 a blessing. It really is. It, you know, this this helps out. It's not often that people like me get a, a opportunity to do this stuff. Our goal is to branch out in every parish in Louisiana and see if we can get volunteers to start what we call platoons in their own areas. We have a Louisiana Hunters for Hero Facebook page. We also have just uh, implemented a website to kind of research and, and see what we're doing. 